So you're probably not asking yourself, well, what could this theme possibly be? I'm glad you didn't ask. The LEGO Ideas platform is a website owned and operated by LEGO where anyone worldwide could submit their own idea of what they might think might make a good LEGO set. As long as it has the proper amount of support and it follows community guidelines and most importantly, LEGO can figure out a way around the copyright issue, then you might be one of the lucky few that can slap I'm a LEGO designer on their resume. However, just because the 50 odd some so things did jump past the proper hurdles and reach that title ship of LEGO set, not all of them are great, and it just goes to show that 10,000 people can and most certainly are going to be wrong sometimes. For instance, the first idea said, Whoa, well, hold on now, I hear you you saying out loud. He just doesn't like it because it's a bunch of women. He feels threatened because his boy's toy is taken over by a bunch of women. You're, you're, you're right. I'm not, you're right. In actuality, the concept can be done well. We saw with two other sets, both from the Lego Ideas theme, that dinosaur fossils can look good. And women also, surprisingly, can look good. Not to mention the objective truths, like, the, I don't know, that it was only on store shelves for four months, making it a pretty bad hot stinking seller. But a bigger underlying theme to this can be extracted. What makes for a good idea set? I would argue it's one that could open the doors for a new burgeoning Lego theme to have a successful new product line. Or one that just sells ridiculous well. Unfortunately, just like the time when a bird pooped on my personalized pizza at my sister's birthday party, you have to rip off the top layers to get to the good stuff. And in this case, the bird shits NASA. While all great sets and they all sold very well, you're not really making a NASA theme out of this, especially when there are other spaceship themes that came up before, during, and after all of these sets were around. So do better next time, NASA. Yeah, you tell them. You tell them college dropout. Another category of sets that don't lend themselves to a great theme are things that are based on real world objects. How many of you are gonna buy more than one Lego globe? How many of you are gonna buy more than one Lego grand piano? And I'm willing to bet there's not a single one of you morons out there that was willing to pay real world money for more than one typewriter. And if you did, congratulations, your prize is stupidity. For potentially insulting some people, it just seemed like a good time to interject and say if you haven't subscribed, it's available to do so. Subscribe. Same goes for all the rest of these sets, with some notable exceptions, like the Jazz Course Tet. Not that it's gonna lead to anything else, I just wanted to point out how busty that babe is. And the Yellow Submarine, which kind of led to the Beatles mosaic, which is basically a theme if you, if you don't give it any real thought. I'm looking over my list of sets here, and one of the sets on the list is just called Birds, and for the description, all I put was birds. There are other things in this category that are based on stuff that isn't household item, but in Lego, that could, could potentially, theoretically, lead to more sets in the future. They probably won't, but they may. They're not going to, though. No one likes Tron. No one cares about Voltron. No one wants another Steamboat Willy boat. I know a lot of people bought the Home Alone house but no one's gonna buy the Home Alone house from Home Alone 4. The same, however, cannot be said about the Caterham 7620R. This thing revolutionized Lego. Praise the Lord whoever bestowed upon this brilliant idea for Lego to make this as a concept in Lego. Before the Caterham 7620R, there was never an official Lego set of a car. Because Lego just didn't have the foresight to know the popularity of a car. Thank you, Bricktricks underscore Carl, for bringing us a car in Lego. Oh my God, you are brilliant. Now this next wave features the theme of come. It features come. This next group is a bit of a comeback. The exosuit is quite unremarkable. There is never not a mech on store shelves that LEGO is producing. But this one offered a new outing for the first time in 40 years, a classic astronaut in a brand new color. Since then, every few years, LEGO's come out with a new astronaut to add to the color spectrum. Because astronauts are gay. Sonic in no imaginable stretch of the mind is owned or operated by LEGO, but a few years prior, they did have a dimensions pack with Sonic and a few little builds. They were able to bring it back, and apparently the set has sold well enough where you didn't hear it from me. LEGO's doing a new Sonic theme, supposedly sometime soon. The medieval blacksmith shop did the same thing that Exoforce did for Classic Space, but for Classic Castle. Now you too can spend ridiculous sums of money on your boyhood dreams of building a giant Black Falcon army. For the excitable audience of Adventure Time, and the five fans of Doctor Who, once the sets were made, they kind of wiggle worm their way into mediocrity. Since they both came out around the aforementioned Dimensions video game, they too got additional sets with their theme. <laughs> but God hates cheaters and rewards those that earn their success properly. These two sets have a lot in common outside of the fact that they're both trash from the 80s. Both had brickheads, both had Dimension sets, both had giant versions of their cars. Ghostbusters did win out with getting their own HQ though. However, where Ghostbusters takes the lead, they also fall behind because their additional sets were given to Ghostbusters 2016. So, 
The real winner between these two is, well, neither, and neither are you for watching. One of the less obvious victors of the ideas lineup is the Big Bang Theory set. Now, I know what you're thinking. Big, big, big Bang Theory, Big Bang Theory, stupid for old people. I don't like Big Bang Theory. Bazinga. One, I like watching Big Bang Theory with my grandfather, so shut up. Two, I know I lose all credibility after saying that, but two, <laughs> without our BBT, we wouldn't have The Office, we wouldn't have Friends, we wouldn't have Seinfeld, we wouldn't probably have the Flintstones, and we probably also wouldn't have Queer Eye. Which I don't I don't know if that's a win or not all of the idea sets and all of their various amounts of offshoots Pale in comparison to the uncrowned king Minecraft. Oh, who would have thought the best-selling game in the world is a popular Lego theme? <laughs> not me. Minecraft was the third set ever to reach 10,000 supporters on ideas, and it was the fastest to do so in less than 48 hours. Before the Minecraft theme even hit store shelves, there was a whole product lineup being developed. Taking a look at the micro Minecraft world, it is very unique from the other Minecraft sets. There were three others in the same design theory, but the rest of them have just been plain old slice of life Lego sets with minifigures and all. It just goes to show that anyone can be successful as long as you have a great idea proper supporting, you follow LEGO's guidelines, and you can get around that copyright issue. And you're a multi-billion dollar gaming industry.